Energy storage and distribution is absolutely pivotal for the clean energy transition, which is why I've come here to EES in Munich, Europe's largest and most international exhibition for batteries and energy storage systems. This place is absolutely huge. There is so much to see, but we've come here to specifically see a few technologies which could be game changers for the energy landscape. This is EES, I'm Imogen Vogel, and this is the Everything Electric Show. There are two challenges that we hear a lot about on the Everything Electric show. Maximizing the use of renewable sources and the challenge of deploying EV charging infrastructure. Well, CETL, who are battery giants and as of 2023, had 40% of the global battery market share. Well, earlier this year, they announced two very, very exciting solutions. And we're here to see the launch of Tenor, a large scale stationary energy storage system with super energy dense batteries and Shenzhen DC charger, super fast charger with integrated storage. see we are not the only ones here to see that the tenor now large-scale safety entry storage is really vital for harnessing renewable energy ensuring that we don't waste it and that also that we can use it even when that renewable energy isn't being produced now to do that we need to be able to store it very efficiently we need scalable solutions we need kind of portable solutions as well now Tenor does that and much more and CATL have managed to cram enough energy in this 20 foot standard shipping container to power 6,000 UK homes for an hour. For context, the Tesla Megapacks, which use the same standard 20 foot shipping container, can store 3.9 megawatt hours of energy. But thanks to the L-Series long-life lithium-ion batteries that are in there, which have a much greater energy density of a whopping 430 watt hours per litre, in there, they can cram 6.25 megawatt hours of energy in the same 20 foot footprint, which translates roughly into 30% greater energy density on a 20% smaller footprint. So more energy in less space. But also, CATL claimed that there'll be zero battery degradation in the first five years. Now, coupled with the 15,000 cycles, this means that these could last for 20 years or more. Now, zero battery degradation has been the goal of many battery manufacturers, but it looks like CATL might have got there first. foot shipping containers or the large-scale stationary energy storage, there are other solutions as well, like for example the NRA and the NR1 Plus. Now this stores a 407 kilowatt hours of energy all within a tidy 1.69 meter squared footprint. Now these are typically used for commercial or industrial applications so that users can take advantage of the price differential between when there's a high amount of renewable energy on the grid and a low amount of renewable energy on the grid. It can also be used for backup power or connected to a PV array on site. Now this one here, as well as having the latest and greatest safety technology, also uses CATL's latest slow degrading battery cells. It has a 96% round trip efficiency and will last for 20 years or more. Now this is the Shenzhen Ultrafast DC Charger. And this is so exciting because it's very commonly understood that getting adequate power on site represents a huge barrier and a huge bottleneck to deploying fast charging. But this totally gets around that by taking a 40 kilowatt AC input or less and converting it into a 480 kilowatt DC charging output, meaning that it can add one kilometer of range per second. That's absolutely huge. Now, how does it do all of that? Well, inside there is a 96 kilowatt hour LFP battery. And that means that these can be very easily connected to existing infrastructure without costly upgrades with new grid connections or any kind of permitting issues as well. 
And that means faster rollout of faster charging with greatly reduced risk, greatly reduced maintenance. What's not to like? Now, CATL have announced a plan to build the world's largest super fast charging network with 10,000 super fast charging stations across 100 cities in 2024 and 2025. And something like this is going to usher in that new era of super fast charging, making it accessible for tens of millions of EV drivers. So why does all of this matter? Well, the more renewable energy in terms of wind and solar that we put on the grid, the more we need to store the excess and the faster that we can move away from our reliance on fossil fuels. And stationary storage in all of its sizes protects the grid from peaks in demand or when renewables aren't producing. It protects us from volume spikes and ensures that renewable energy is a more viable and reliable source of power for our future. Let us know what you think in the comments, and if you have been, thank you for watching.